Welcome to your very first tutorial on CSS. Now, what are CSS or what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So now I want you to, what CSS does is, uh, CSS, it beautifies our web page. Now I want you to see HTML like, HTML is the house and CSS is the paint. So when you build your house, you need to paint your house. So you, you can't just build your house and you don't paint your house. You need to paint your house. And now painting that house is CSS. So you need CSS to paint HTML. CSS is what beautifies our house. CSS add colors to our HTML page. It does many things. So we are going to be looking at that in this video. We're going to be looking at CSS in this video. Now there are many ways to use CSS in our html page you can use css in the head and you can use css in line in line inside an element in like for example inside this element now let me show you see using css in the head element you come over here you can use your style tag you can use your style tag and you close it now let's say for example we want to add color to our h1 tag over here you come over here, you use your H1, you use the tag, and you open a squeezely bracket. Open a squeezely bracket. Let's say we want to add red. We want to make this H1. We want to give it a red color. Now you come over here, you do say color. Color. And then you can see, you can see you after color, you add your colon. And here you can put red inside of it you can put red and, and then you close it with a semicolon over here so this is how this is css this is how you write css and this is how you are going to be writing css all through this is the syntax the basic syntax you can see over here you can see the opening squeezely bracket and the closing squeezely bracket and then this is a property this is a property and this is the, the red over here is a value okay and then you close it with a semicolon so now by doing this now let's re refresh this on our web page refresh you can see you can see now the color is red it has turned red so another way to use css on our html page let me show you the inline way let's just remove this let's just get rid of this Now another way to use the CSS inside of our HTML page is we use it in, in our element. It's called the inline style. Okay, you come inside your H1 tag and then you open it. You use your style. Still use your style tag. And then inside this inside this um, quotes over here, you use color. And then let give let's give it blue this time, a color of blue. You can see now we have a color of blue inside our h1 tag now let's refresh this it was red before so now let's refresh you can see now it's blue it has turned blue so that is how to use your css inside your html page but i want to tell you that this is not a good practice this is not a good practice a, a brilliant developer don't do this okay you don't do this you don't want to cram all your styles inside your html page you want to create a separate file for your css okay so how to do that this is how we'll be doing this all tutorial we, we are going to create a css file differently okay so now let's just get rid of this and now let's create our css file to create this css file this is the best practice okay this is what you should do create your own css file don't use style don't 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 Create your don't style your elements inside your HTML and page. You don't do that. Create your own HTML file. Create your own CSS file. So you come over here, then you hit new file, then you say styles styles dot CSS. Then you hit enter. Now you can see we have our own CSS file. Now anything we do here, 
will display any style we, any style we give here will display on our HTML page and it doesn't just work like that we need to link it okay now to link it we need to come inside the head inside the head over here use the link use the link tag now you set this you set the relationship the relationship attribute it's also called relationship style sheet it says it to style sheet and then href href now we are linking to our styles.css so you use styles.css styles.css then you close it now the link doesn't have a closing tag so it's a self-closing tag okay so now for example now let's come over here yeah let's do the h1 tag over here the h1 inside our css file now let's just give this one background color background color now you can see your background color you use your background and then hyphen and then color before your colon then you put your your value here now let's give the background color blue now let's refresh this now you can see we have a background color of blue so this is how you do it this is how you use your css you need to create another file you need to create a separate file for file from for your css you don't you don't cram your css stylings inside your html page yeah so that will be it for this video in the next video we're going to be coding more on css but this is how you keep it in mind that this is how you create your own css file okay yeah so that will be it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next video